Hi, my name is Justin Zerman. I'm doing a presentation uh, for my cultural project. Um, we're doing a project on China, um, and my specific topic is music. Um, so it's kind of hard to just pinpoint and spend five minutes alone on music. I think there's a lot more time that could be spent on it, but I'm just going to do a brief overview of music and how it can influence the Chinese people and their culture and, and kind of the significance of it in their culture. Um, I'm gonna, it's kind of hard to, to get away from, um, if you're, if you're speaking about music, it's kind of hard to, to get away from religion. So I'm going to start with religion first. Um, there's the three largely, very large traditional religions in China, um, Buddhism, Taoism, and Confucianism. Um, I, I, I've read that all three major religions, um, incorporate music in a traditional sense, um, during their rituals, uh, worship services, uh, weddings, funerals, um, and what have you. So there's a lot of things. Um, they use different instruments, uh, stringed instruments, um, percussion instruments, uh, flutes, drums, things like that, that um, have a bit more traditional sense. Um, I did some reading about uh, a traditional Chinese wedding um, in the mainland of China where music was played for for hours straight, you know, as part of the um, celebration. Um, and then outside of that, I uh, looked into music uh, as far as education goes. And in the schools, I mean, it looks like, from what I've read, the, uh, the um, Board of Education in China, which is controlled by the um, People's Republic of, of China, um, the communist state of China requires that all children are spend nine years of education, traditional music education during their schooling, um, starting during their elementary years. Uh, so it is, I think a lot of this is used as a, a platform to promote their nationalism and uh, patriotism in the country. But um, I, I don't think there's a whole lot from what I read. There's not a whole lot of uh, Western influence during their schooling. As far as Western influence goes into their music, um, it's been a bit of a struggle, but I think over the last 20 years or so, there's been a, a bit more um, Western music influence. A communist state came in around 1949, and, and there's still a communist state, so the government controls the, the radio, the television, um, newspapers, and, and things like that. So their actual influence is relatively small. I read something about the influence of rock music in China and um, they said the significance of it is quite small. Although the cities of like Shanghai and Beijing are, are massive cities that have a bit more of uh, Western influence to them and uh, in fact there's been some international acts that have gone there and played music um, couple bands that might be familiar to some, like the Rolling Stones, uh, Linkin Park. Some of those bands have been quite successful there due to the fact there's just the sheer number of people there and um, their economic status is, is rather healthy. Uh, there's a lot of wealthy people there that are interested in seeing these Western acts. But um, in the mainland China, the, the influence is, is relatively low uh, as far as Western music goes. Um, in a more traditional sense, that there's a lot of a Chinese opera is a quite popular. Um, there's a lot of people who who in, enjoy doing the Chinese opera, um, and uh, well, that's about all I have. But uh, there's a lot more I could get into as far as the music goes. But I, I think I'll, I'll leave off with that.